Thomas Bryant has taken full advantage of his opportunity in AD's absence. He has stepped up and helped fill the void of an MVP caliber player. As a starter, he is currently averaging 16 points per game, about 10 rebounds a game, 67% field goal shooting, and 53% from three-point range. Is he the real deal? And how will his role change when Anthony Davis returns? It's surprising to me. I honestly thought the Lakers were doomed once Anthony Davis went down. But since then, the Lakers actually have a winning record. Of course, LeBron is a big reason for that. But you have to credit the other guys who have stepped up as well. Dennis Schroeder has been playing really well. Russell Westbrook is looking more like his old self. Patrick Beverly is hitting more of his shots. Even Kendrick Nunn is scoring more than zero points. But we have to give props to the man actually filling in for AD at center. And that's Thomas Bryant. Of course, he's not putting the same numbers as AD, nor should anyone expect him to. But he is playing like a solid starting NBA center. Now, is his play sustainable? Honestly, yeah. If you look at how he's getting his numbers, it's all just hustle, being at the right place at the right time, and being a big body. All things we know he's been capable of. It's just now he's getting the minutes. He's a high energy player and is outworking everyone else, whether it's on the boards or getting good paint position for an easy bucket. And when you put him together with great playmakers like LeBron and Russell Westbrook, you're gonna get good results. The only thing that probably isn't sustainable is his insanely high three-point percentage. It's such a small sample size. It's not likely to stay that high. But he doesn't take that many threes, and most of his game is around the basket. So I'm not too worried about that. But the fact that he can stretch the floor definitely helps the rest of the players with spacing and just makes the offense that much better. Defensively, again, he's not quite the level of Anthony Davis. Very few people are. But he brings that same energy to that side of the ball. Whether it's blocking shots, boxing out, or going after loose balls, he just wants it more. Now he's played so well that the Lakers will have a dilemma when Anthony Davis returns. Do they keep TB in the starting lineup and move AD to the four? Or do they move into the bench and have AD start at the five? There are good arguments for both. If you start Thomas Bryant and move AD to the four, then you'll have a bigger lineup. You'll see less of the dreaded three guard lineups and they'll be able to match up better with bigger teams. AD has made it quite clear that he's not very fond of playing center. So with Thomas Bryant stepping up and showing that he can be productive at that position, AD can now play his preferred position. Then you'll have a lineup more similar to that 2020 championship roster. On the other hand, up until the injury, Anthony Davis was playing the best basketball we've ever seen him play. And it was all while he was at center. He was playing like an actual big man, playing with power and being a dominant force around the basket. Moving AD back to the power forward position might take him out of that rhythm. He might be forced to play more around the perimeter and he may not be as aggressive. But you'll also have Thomas Bryant and his high energy coming off the bench. And that in combination with guys like Russell Westbrook and Dennis Schroeder can be a formidable second unit. Now we won't know how this will all work out until Anthony Davis returns and we actually see it in action. Darvin Ham definitely has some experimenting that he needs to do with these lineups. But I definitely see AD and TB getting minutes on the floor together. It's just a matter of how and when to use them together. Thomas Bryant has taken full advantage of the opportunity given to him. And now he will force Starvenham to make some tough decisions. But at the same time, this just means the Lakers have more options 
which is always a good thing. And with the rest of the players stepping up and the team starting to gel, if the Lakers make a couple more moves, the right moves, I can definitely see this team being a threat this season.